First in the spotlight tonight, the BBC presenter Spencer Kelly. His specialist subject, number one singles. <laughs> Next, the citizen con actor Abdullah Afzal. He'll be answering questions on Sir Alex Ferguson. The actress Jessica Regan takes as her subject the films of Quentin Tarantino and the comedian Andrew Maxwell on The Lebanon. Hello and welcome to Celebrity Mastermind with me, John Humphreys, and four people who may feel they have become experts in their own field, but this is something different. Not just any old quiz, it's the one that really does test their nerve as well as their knowledge. They'll get 90 seconds of questions on their specialist subject and two minutes on general knowledge. So let's ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Spencer Kelly. Your chosen charity? Limeade UK. And your chosen subject? Number one singles in the UK from 83 to 92. In 90 seconds, starting now, who first topped the UK singles chart in the summer of 85 with Into the Groove from the film Desperately Seeking Susan? Madonna. Yep. Which musical duo's farewell single, The Edge of Heaven, reached number one in the UK charts in June 86? Wham. Yep. With which power ballad did Bonnie Tyler top the UK charts for two weeks in March 83? Total Eclipse of the Heart. Yep. Who topped the UK charts for 16 consecutive weeks in 91 with... Everything I Do, I Do It For You, from Brian. the film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Brian Adams. Yes, with what song did the beautiful South top the charts in October 1990? The accompanying music video about a fight between a couple won a Brit Award the following year. A little time. Yep. The 1988 chart-topping pop song The Only Way Is Up was credited to which singer with the plastic population? Yaz. Yes, which love song from the Tom Cruise film Top Gun gave the band Berlin a number one hit in 86? Take my breath away. Yep. Which 87 song was the second UK chart-topper for the Pet Shop Boys. It contains the lyrics, When I look back upon my life, it's always with a sense of shame. <laughs> it's a sin. Yes, in 1990, Sinead O'Connor topped the charts with an emotional rendition of Nothing Compares to You, a song that was originally recorded by the family and written by whom? Prince. Yes, Whitney Houston's chart topper, I Will Always Love You, from the 92 film The Bodyguard was written and originally recorded by which country singer? Dolly Parton. Yes, which band's first UK number one and eighth top 40 single was Is There Something I Should Know in March 1983? Duran Duran. Yep. Which song from Michael Jackson's album Bad reached number one in the singles chart in 1987? It was a duet with Cedar Garrett. I just can't stop loving you. Absolutely right. No passes, you got them all right. Oh. 12 points. <laughs>